Well fam, we're here on my allotment. Um, hope you like the uh, karaoke video. Three parter. Sorry it was so long. It was busy as you can tell. Um, we're here on my allotment. We're in my net cage where it protects all the pigeons, protects my crops from pigeons, but I'll still need to protect them from slugs. So, um, yeah, so in the, this bed we're going to, we're going to like plant them all up with some tomatoes. And do you remember all the broccoli and stuff I self sowed myself? Well, the slugs got to them in the greenhouse and there's only two left. But I'm glad I went to home base and bought some spare ones for half price because I put them in this big tub here and they're doing all right. So I've got my special stuff. Also what we'll be planting, we're, here's an update on the onions. Doing well, massive. Potatoes got flowers on, looking good. So we're gonna be planting courgettes in this bed so this is the cause I started from seed it's doing very well and these two were, they're all done at the same time but I don't know what happened to these two but they do have a root I have seen roots underneath so that's what's going in there strawberries are doing well I've got one that looks really ready on there so i have eating that <laughs> And uh, my friend's coming down later and she's going to be helping me prune this bad boy and the blackberry bush which is a bit out of control. Sorry about that fam. I do have hair fever so I'll probably sneeze a bit. So... Uh, my cucumbers, I've got some cucumbers that I finally managed to get growing. They're not big enough yet. Are going in here. Lettuces are doing okay. I've lost a few. But the rest of them seems to be doing alright. My sweet corn is there. Going in this bed. I'm going to keep them in, in this cage. And put some stuff to stop the rats getting in. Hopefully. And put a screen round them. Uh, my... The runner beans are doing all right. I've had a bit of some damage, but it's not too bad. Uh, the beetroot's doing okay. Gone out of chuck, doing not going on there. But to be fair, I haven't seen any rats. The odd mice, and they're the they're the beetroot. They're doing pretty well. So um, we'll start digging, shall we? Uh, yeah, so I'll set it up and then you can see what I'm doing. All right, I won't film all of it. I'll just do the odd plants here and there. So it's not going to be a massive long video. All right, see you soon. Right, so I'm going to put the tomatoes in. Now, slugs don't really bother with tomatoes. So I'm going to try something different. I saw in a video where they actually dug, I might do it up here, can we see that there, oh no you can see that, so well where they did like a little tr a trench, so they put the end of the root and then uh, I'll show you what I mean. Uh, because I'll put some like that so it's nice so what they did was they laid it flat like that then they covered it over so then it would branch more roots out something like that this is what I saw in a vid YouTube video a while ago and then I'll put a cane in there later on alright so so 
we put a cane in and it'll grow up. So I'll put a cane in later on. So we'll... <coughs> Woo! Some of... Went... Funny, uh, raised beds aren't doing very well, they're crumbling. So we'll move you over to the other side now. If it wants to work. Well, I'll, uh... Right, I've got it set up for this half. Um, I might put a piece of wood to spot this broken raised bed for the time being. I'm not going to, uh, move it now because there's no point. I'll just go get that bit of wood. Oh. Fell over, fam. So I'll attach that on somehow. So we'll just get these out for now. Wow, they grew well in there. Took the whole pot. So, now we need to distinguish. So these are sprouts. They are sprouts. And these are cabbages, and these are broccoli. So I think I'm going to put the broccoli in a bed over there. Show the planting of them. I'm going to put half. I'll put these guys down here because I need to spread them out a bit and see and put and I'll put my sprouts in the bed behind you. Oh. I forgot my big claw thing so I'm gonna have to use a normal trowel which is the way I'm I like the big claw thing. My old shoes are falling apart. No. So. so, you need a good distance between each cabbage. Because They they grow around. They grow quite big, actually. So so you need like a big space. So. Make sure you plant them nice and deep. So it's like nice and deep so the roots don't dry out. So I will get and I'll basically do the rest like that and put these granules down just to stop slugs getting on them because I don't like the granules. Because it worked on the lettuce and stuff, so. so. 
and that's it. But this part of the lettuce, the cabbages, I mean, lettuce is what am I on about? The cabbages. Right, so I'm gonna uh, move you and I'll show you the others. So, so now on to my um, sprouts. So, again, you want them nice spaced out so these go quite tall and big so you want them you can have them in little rows but as long as they're evenly spread out make sure there's no none like this that are stuck together because they look a bit weird and it's not good if they're Going together like that. So, um, so there we are. And I might plant this one in because this is a sprout too. I'll put this small one that I'm not sure. And sometimes you can tell by the leaves. I think this is a sprout too. Who knows? But I'll put this one with the, um, what are they called? can't remember. Broccoli. How can I not remember broccoli? So, we'll, we'll plant the one in the middle where you can actually see. So, I like to do them in rows so that it's easy to manage. Well spread in rows. Make sure they're nice and deep when you plant them, because they grow quite big. And I'll show you that in a future video, because they grow quite big, the sprouts. So you need them quite deep. And again, I will do the same. I'll put the gravel stuff around them all, because the slugs and stuff come out on a night. And that's when they get them. So I'll move on to the uh, broccoli and then I'll sh show you the sweet corn and courgettes. Right. So you set up now. Right. Basically the same sort of thing. You uh, make sure they're well spreaded out. Uh, I'm just gonna scatter some of this compost over the uh, sprouts. I planted the rest of the sprouts and everything else. It's just, it's it'll take too long in a video just to like show every single thing being planted. So I'm like doing one that plant of every variety. So we have our purple sprouting broccoli and we need to make sure they're nicely spaced because these guys do grow big these guys do grow big as you saw from an earlier video of the end of the season of my end of the season with my other broccoli we'll see if that one survives but yeah so that one can go in there and I'll stick the little slab in there so we know which one's the which and tomatoes are very easy to spot so trout so again you need to make sure these are fairly deep otherwise they get really leggy and long and they're more likely to snap at an earlier age. So, so I'll just stick that one in there. And yeah. I dug these beds over the other the other day so they're quite thing. And I put them horse manure in the other day, so that that 
it'd have a chance for the nutrients of the horse milk to soak in before I came to plant them. I normally do it like April, March, but I just didn't think it would be any point of planting them. So I'll finish off these, I'll put the gravel on and I'll show you afterwards what I've done. I've got the tomatoes all in, caned up. I haven't tied them yet, I'm going to wait until they're a bit bigger. The cabbages are in with the granules, so the uh, sprouts and broccoli. So we'll move on to the uh, courgette. Now where did I put the trowel? Is it in here? Oh, I've lost my trowel now. Oh, it's there. It's there. We'll do the um, courgette. But we'll need some stuff to go around them because they're so cute. Like eating courgettes. The, the root stock. Wow, that's done very well in that pot. So then I'll plant the other two and put some granules around this to stop the slugs getting to them because I had enough, I've got enough to do the cucumber, do the courgettes. Right, see you in a bit. Alright, yeah, sweet corn turn. <laughs> so again, you want these nicely spread apart. These are going quite big. So you that so they've got plenty of room to grow upwards. Recording. Oh, you <laughs> I said I was recording the sweet corn. Life size rabbit. <laughs> I meant human size rabbit. <laughs> 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 
I never used to hear chip chaffs on the uh, backies. No. No, never used to hear them. Yes, I would, because we've heard them, haven't Not when I was younger. I'd never. I used to listen to them, but I never heard chaff chaffinches. Chaffinches. I used to hear chaffinches, not chip chaffs and stuff like that. <laughs> right. Right. Oh, pallets. Uh, these do the same job as the granules, but you need to water them quite a lot because they absorb quite a lot of the water. They stink too as well. That's what they look like. You basically do the same thing as you would with the granules. Just pop them around like that. And it gives them a barrier when you water them as well so they don't crawl over. Had these left over from last year. I'm going to sort these out now. Sorry about that, the camera fell backwards. So I'm going to try and make sure that. This one down here so it can go up that way. So that way, at least have a bit of. Some guys done. So I'll do the last of them and then that should be it for now. Mm -hmm. Nice and tied up. 
Hey guys, um, I finished up. My friend kindly chopped all the stuff down there so I can tidy it up. So I'm just gonna quickly water. I'm stuck on the ditch and I'm drenching myself. Oh, got wet feet now. I'll just give the strawberries a bit of a water. Oh. I keep getting caught on everything guys. Sorry. Got the camera wet, got myself wet. I shouldn't be in charge of a horse pipe. Oh this is what happens when you share a water system and you've got an ex hose pipe. Everyone seems to water and then you don't get enough water pressure so I'm going to water the project give them enough water enough water 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 watering oh this is bull crap So the tomatoes are all done. I'm just giving them some water. The cabbages are all done. Now I'm giving them some water. Give them a drink. And now I'm giving the broccoli some water. As I said, they're thirsty. They're thirsty. And now I'm going to give the sprouts some water. I'm going to spray them a little bit. I'm going to spray them a bit. And then I'm going to give these some water too. So everything's pretty much done. That's about it. So I'm going to finish off there and then I will get back to you in the greenhouse. Hey old furry! Back at home guys. The dinky. Sorry mum. Here he is. Mr Fluffy! Isn't he cutie? I promised the birdies as well didn't I? These are our cockatiels. Here's Mark. He's on his own because he bullies the rest. Don't he? He picks on you all. Don't he? Oh, the three greys are not so friendly. They don't like being being handled or touched or stroked. But this one loves it. She's called Jackie. And the other one's Molly. And the one down there is Rosie. And this one's Mark. And this is Jackie! Eh? And she... I would get her out but we've got the back door open but... She does give me kisses when when we're out. When you're out, are you? There you go. We call her the little chuckabo. Or Final Fantasy. Jackabo. We sometimes call her Jackabo. You know, like our Final Fantasy. <laughs> so, let, let's show you the uh, greenhouse now. Hey bird! Got some tomatoes in there and some strawberries for some reason. I've got some random potatoes growing in my uh, compost bins. So these are my sister's plants but yeah that's what happened to the uh, cabbages and stuff. Gone. I've got one tomato in a pot. I'm going to try that in the pot. I did have some tomatoes in here, but they seem to have shriveled up with the sun. So. Oh well. Got some carrots in here. Going to see how they do. Um, I've got some small tomatoes there. And I've got these, the bigger ones, like you saw on the allotment, that I got given off Peter in these 
small compost bags. I'm going to see how they do in compost bags. So I've got like a selection. I've got some in bags, one in a pot and some on the allotment. And these are my cucumbers which I transferred from small pots as they were in, in them. Those small pots into these bigger ones. And that's how I started off the courgettes, believe it or not. And one of them did alright. So I have three cucumbers. So when they get big enough, I will transfer them over. And then I'll try and get them to grow up on something rather than grow flat. Because they, they spread out the cucumbers. So that that is it, guys. So and just need to water now. And that is it. Because I've done the lot, man. And we did. Well, you weren't there. You weren't there, but I was. So that's it from us here. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Hey, bye for now. Give me a kiss. Fair enough. See you later.